Hey guys, this is Kimberly and you're watching Thriving on a Budget. I just got back from the Dollar Tree and I got some fun stuff so I thought I'd show you what I found at my store. Um, first thing, I've seen a lot of people get Barbie things in their hauls and I was really patient trying to find them. I finally found a few Barbie items at my store and I was pretty excited. So they had the Barbie Toy Story 4 um, Buzz Lightyear shirt. It's kind of cute. They also had a Barbie Toy Story for what looks like a dress. So, super excited. Um, I've seen in some other people's hauls, people getting um, the little toy baby Barbies or Barbie uh, puppies and things like that. I haven't found those in my store, but you might find them in yours. So, something to look out for. Um, also, some cute Halloween decor going on. Um, this one says, Beware the Wicked Witch and Her Little Monsters Live Here. I thought that was super cute. This would be good um, on a piano or a dresser or something. But it also has got this little hooky-do thing in the back so you could actually hang it up on the wall. Super, super cute. Um, something else that I got from the, the Halloween section. I got um, two of these plastic skulls. One of them is for my little girl because she likes to decorate. The other one I'm actually going to use for my medical class. So um, I looked up online and um, anat anatomical uh, study items are usually pretty expensive. And I saw um, colored skulls that were broken down into the different sections uh, for quite a bit online. So I figured if I get one of these and I can paint the sections and label them, I can study with this for way cheaper. So I was kind of excited about that idea. Uh, something else that I really like to get at the dollar store is household goods. So things like toilet paper, batteries, light bulbs, things like that. Um, so the Scott toilet paper, obviously a dollar, it's Dollar Tree. So it makes it 25 cents a roll. This is not a bad deal. If you were to go to a different store and get a 12 pack of Scott, um, they're five, six bucks for a 12 pack. So if you buy three of these, it's $3 for 12 rolls. That's not bad. So I got some of those to restock my stockpile. Um, I did get a couple of these light bulbs because I really don't like spending very much on light bulbs. You know, it, it's stuff that you use up. I don't see the point in investing a lot of money in something that you're going to throw away anyway. Um, another household thing that I got was the soap. So I really, really, really love to get a couple of these for my stockpile or to throw under my sink. Um, sometimes I have fun holiday scented soaps that are just a little bit more expensive, but just for day-to-day -day use. One of these will fill up three pumps of soap, three of those little hand pump thingies. So that would be 33 cents a piece as opposed to like two or three dollars a piece. So I personally like the honey cream one. It smells pretty decent and I'm under the impression it's moisturizing, so I got a couple of these. Um, also, something I was excited that they had was these little car chargers. So these are the little um, things you stick in the, the port in your dashboard. And they do also have the uh, little micro USB cords that you stick in these. So instead of spending like 30 bucks on a car charger, you can get one of these and the micro USB cords, so two bucks to be able to charge your phone. Um, I got one for my car and one for my husband's car. Um, something else that I got while I was there, I'm gonna show you how I do Halloween stuff for trick-or-treaters. Um, since I'm out trick-or-treating with my child, there's not gonna be anybody else to pass out candy at my house because my husband's gonna be at work. So what we do is I leave out a bowl, but I don't like the idea of leaving out candy that can get tampered with. I live by kind of sketchy apartments. So what I do is I leave out a bowl with um, non-edible things so people can take what they need, but I don't have to worry about kids getting sick because someone thinks they're being funny and messing with candy. So I leave out um, stickers and things like that. So this is an 18 pack of stickers. I got some of these uh, little rings, it's a 50 pack, and I got two different kinds. And then I get um, these cute little pens. So I get a couple random things that are non-edibles and they have a bowl. Got one of those. 
I'm gonna open all those up, mix them up, and stick on my porch with a little sign telling people to take one. That's what I do just because you never know, stuff happens and I don't wanna be a Halloween Grinch but I don't want kids getting sick because somebody thinks they're being funny. Um, that's pretty much what I got today. Keep in mind, I, I have seen a lot of Christmas stuff showing up at the Dollar Tree already. I know we haven't even had Halloween yet, but if you like some of the Christmas things you're seeing, get them now. Because once it gets closer to the holiday, the good stuff's gone. A lot of the good stuff ends up being, um, getting used and taken. And so um, one of the things I know will sell out is if you see those um, snow globe, the DIY snow globe kits, or the snow globe um, DIY ornaments, those sell out so quickly. They sold out really quickly last year. Um, also, the little miniature uh, trees, they usually have like a green one or a white one, things like that. A lot of the really cool Christmas stuff or any holiday, whenever there's a cool holiday item, um, and you're like, wow, that's awesome. Other people are going to think it's awesome too and it will sell out pretty quickly. So if you're already seeing Christmas items you like, I know it's nowhere near Christmas yet. Maybe pick up a couple and stash them away in your closet or something because they will sell out um, unless you're willing to buy them online in bulk because you can order like um, a whole bunch of them online. Like if you wanted to get, I don't know what the requirement is on DollarTree.com. It might be like 20 snow globes or something, but if you don't want 20 of them, maybe you want three of them, it's probably in your best interest to pick those up now. But I hope this video was helpful and I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome week, okay? Bye-bye.